Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back again, it is day 51 here in season 3 of the series and today we are continuing with our bursting grind for the most part. I am just going to get on with my birdhouse run for the least part, which is this very first part. Yes, words and things. Yeah, we're going to be going back to bursting again, it's been going real well. I believe there is both a magic level and a defense level just waiting ripe to be plucked. Sat there waiting for us to seize them into our grubby little mitts and store them permanently for the rest of eternity on the account. So yeah, I'm hoping we get up to 72 magic, seven, uh, 68 defense and hopefully closer towards the next levels after that because we gotta keep going till 75 and it's more efficient doing it this way so my defense is closer to 74 piety don't know why i'm saying things like i'm in a music video by the lonely island but i'll stop now as i regain my sanity ever so slightly maybe i waited too long to record today's episode because I'm starting to think that maybe my brain is a little too high to be actively contributing conversational banter on camera. Or maybe it's exactly the right amount, who knows? Only you can have your own opinion. Look at that nice level. In fact, do we have any money waiting for us? We do! Oh, we've got 6.7 mil. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice, folks? <laughs> That's actually disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. That is gross. We've had two days at the Armored Zombies. One of them wasn't even quite a full day because we had some miscellaneous shenanigans. So far in those two days, we've had two zombie axes. They have been giving the goods at two mil a pop. Surely, surely not a third day in a row. Uh, it's impossible for me to get another zombie axe and I'm now just realizing I didn't even get any herb seeds. Let me go to the GE and make that run again like an idiot. Avanto is still the best, I checked just before starting. So we will be, ooh, even if it's expensive, it's way better than Renar still. Bang in, what did we get? That was like 6,000 each. Wow. And yeah, we're gonna need another Fortis teleport. Couldn't have been one of the closer ones, could it? The one that was actually like the longest run. Oh, and I didn't even get my fucking staff or my ring. Okay, terrible start on the farm run. Good job it's the least important part of the day. Let's look at the cash stack some more and make ourselves feel better. Did that the wrong way around? All over the place today. Bloody hell. Please don't. Oh, I was so scared that it was going to grow back the weeds then. I was just convinced in my head it was going to happen. Alright, the best place to bank for the things that I forgot is probably Camelot. If we just run straight down to the Cafferby Bank and then go from there to the patch. Unfortunately, our first patch did die today. But hey, ho. Oh. I keep going to my Alk tab. I'm just fucking so not used to being on Ancients all the time. <laughs> so not used to it at all. And then I'm going to my tab looking for my energy ring, which isn't there yet. Okay, we want this and this. Is there anything else? No, I don't need the Alks right now. I don't know why I'm keeping all my gear on, to be honest. I probably shouldn't be, but it's all right. We've got energy charges for this that we always have unused. We always have, like, one charge left. Mm, price of Renard's really not good at the moment. Kind of wish I hadn't planted all the Renard seeds that I had. 
and it got some Avanto instead to save their Anars for when the price of the herbs is up again. 6,500 is super low. Renards are like always 7k. It's like the one thing that you can be certain of. So for them not to be 7k, it's, it's depressing times. Are we looking on runes today? I think we're pretty stocked up. We don't really need any. I haven't been using too many blood runes. I think I started off on a thousand, maybe just over from whatever random blood runes I'd collected. But Oh, I used the wrong one. Do I have random shit to sell? I do. Let me get these up. Oh my gosh, I didn't compost the last patch either. Oh, it's only an Avento seed. It's only an Avento seed. I, I, I'll, I'll take that hit. I'll take that hit. It's a bit of a goof on my behalf, but that's what you get when you're talking to you. I've just teleported to Grand Exchange again. What am I actually doing? I'm all over the fucking place today. Barrock. Thank you. I don't know why I'm thanking the computer sarcastically, as if it's the computer's fault that I'm an idiot. There's an error between a mouse and keyboard, is what it was. Okay, almost 7 mil in the bank, plus the miscellaneous money still sitting pretty. We want to grab ourselves a dig site necklace and get the rest of our bursting equipment. I don't know if I need four of these. Let's try three. Try three. Okay, all the gear on. Let's go. See what the armored zombies have in store for us today, folks. The lovely, lovely zombies of the armored variety with their two axes in 713 KC so far, which I have just looked up and it is in fact a 1 in 800 drop that I kept saying it was something like a 1 in 800. It is in fact 1 in 800. Oh, I hate having to tag the ranges at the start of every day. Why can't I just remember? Always takes me a good couple minutes to just get back into the flow of stacking them up and shit. Why's that guy wandered off? What are you doing over there, eh? Come here. Look, oh, come. Just realised my Mystic Knight wasn't on. At least it wasn't too far in. Oh, two blood rune drops simultaneously. By the way, my number one advice if you're doing this on your account, if you decide to come here and try this method, is bring a herb pouch. If you don't have one, just go and fucking get one. So worth it. Get one from Slayer Master for 750 points. You can get one from the Tithe Farm if you hate yourself. Either option is perfectly viable and it will pay off in the long run for sure, both on this and anywhere else where herbs get dropped like Slayer Tasks or Farm Runs. Currently working at a 120k an hour rate. Don't know if it's fully settled yet, but... Oh, I'm taking so much damage. I feel like I'm using loads of bloods. And there's 72 magic coming in. Estimating 47 minutes to the next level, so sadly outside our time span for the day. But still, we're working at roughly one level in each per day, which isn't too bad. It means we've got like another three days here, basically. But so far we've been making two mil a day here, so could be worse. Kinda don't mind getting stuck here for a couple levels. Hopefully we'll also get most of our defense done along the way. I have to say as well because I've been super quiet and I may as well talk about it now because I've just thought about it. Uh, yeah, that's how my brain works. That slowly and I'm delaying even longer to give myself more time to think because I've thought about what I want to talk about but I haven't thought about what I want to say yet. So I've been doing 150 tombs raids on my main lately and I've got to say it's looking kind of rough. Like, I'm a much higher level on my main than I'm planning to be anywhere near on this. And it's tough for me even to do 150s. I'm not max granted, but I, I keep dying. <laughs> I can get them. I've done a few. I think I've got like three KC, maybe four. But I don't get them consistently. Usually it's just a dumb mistake that kills me. Basically, you guys are going to get to watch me die a lot, I think. So that's fun for you, not for me necessarily. If we run out of aggro. I should probably bank to be honest. We've got like a full invent. I'm just gonna go bank. Three prayer pots is plenty. 
But yeah, I I think like we're gonna easily be able to do a, a zero invocation. Not easily, but we will be able to get that like a hundred percent. It's gonna be tough for me to get a, a normal completion though. I mean, I'm still gonna go for it obviously, but it will be tough. Every trip to the bank does harm our XP rates, but the profit from those herbs is simply too good to pass up. Basically, like every trip is like half a day's worth of herb run. Because you get like roughly 20, and then that's like half of what you'd get in a day of a single herb run's worth. Not day, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say a day. Well, we have passed the 800 KC drop rate, and sadly, no axe. No third axe, that is. Uh, at least now we only have to kill another 800 to be back on drop rate and then we can maybe start to think about a third one showing up. It's always so satisfying using multi attack spells or ch chompers and just seeing those XP drops flying. It feels like playing in leagues or dead man with multiplied rates. Just every few ticks getting a few hundred XP. Usually, with the downside of it's costing you a lot of money, but honestly, doing it at this place seems to be circumventing all of that cost. So. Although I don't suppose chins would be as good here, because you wouldn't be able to... Unless you were also still bloodbursting, but then you wouldn't be in good gear for it, you know. I had a full invent anyway, it's pretty much a perfect trip in terms of supplies to invent space. Alright, that's my cue. Should get one more solid trip in. Haven't quite got that defense level yet, but we should be on par for it, I reckon. Yeah, we only need 10k more defense XP. We've already gained 20k today, and we've got 20 minutes left. Sandwiches? Stale? No? A chocolate bar? Wow. 394 XP, 267 XP, 187, we're going down, 167, we're still going down, come on, go. 245 XP, 454 XP, 200, 200, no, keep going up, keep going up. Okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll stop. I feel like I'd be very quiet today, it's probably a short episode. Honestly, when we're in grinds like this, they end up being shorter episodes. That is par for the course. Only, bit, only is so much you can say about one given task before you are just out of juice. is full. I'm gonna have to make another trip R. There's no way I can stay in another nine minutes. Agro just ran out as well. Let's just finish these. And then we can get one more quick trip in. Just seven and a half more minutes for us to go three for three on axes per days. Can it be done? I'm gonna go ahead and put my money on no, but feel free to put yours on yes. And then I guess give me that money, because it's not gonna happen. 
It's not gonna happen, I refuse to believe it. And maybe by refusing to believe it, we can will it into existence. And there's 68 defense coming in. It did take us a while to get that one. I don't think we'd be due another one tomorrow. Either, it looks like. We would be too far away if I swap over to our XP tracker. Yeah, we're not looking like we're going to get 60k defense XP in one day of bursting, based on how things have been going. But we are getting a lot of magic XP. These, these 75 magic levels that we need are coming in rapid. Like, the fact that we're gaining magic levels faster than defense levels and we're 5 magic levels higher than defense, that adds a significant amount to the XP you need to gain per level. Okay, it's time to start thinking about getting the hell out of here, James. Don't overstay your welcome. That's all do. Mr. Abento, but oh well. We'd go out with our lives. Well, folks, another very, very solid day of XP gains. We are there today with 185,000 experience gained. That's 85,000 magic XP, 53,000 hit points XP, 40,000 defense XP, and some pocket change in farming and hunter. We're working, folks. We are working, and we're getting there, slowly but surely. Tomorrow, we will most certainly hit 73. We will get very close to 69 defense. I reckon by the time we are 75 magic, we are going to have our 70 defense then. And then all that we will need before we're ready to go and do the quest and do entry level raids is two more attack levels. So a couple more days of bursting, three days max, another day or two at Scurrious, day of questing. Raids, raids within a week, baby. Definitely by episode 60, we are in our raids grind, probably earlier. I'm excited, I'm so hyped. We've got so much money too. Look how much money we have. Oh, 23,000 GP. Put the money in the bank. Yeah, 6.8 mil. What do we need to buy? Absolutely nothing. We've already got all our gear. Oh, we need the mage cape as well. I forgot about mage cape. Okay, a week seems reasonable. A week seems like a reasonable intro. Uh, I'm out of time. I'm gonna quit yapping. This man needs a wee. If you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to leave a like because it helps a ton. It both promotes me into the algorithm so more people can find my content and discover the joy of one hour limit locked. And it lets me know that you find joy in one hour limit locks and the content that I create, which makes me much more likely to keep smashing out content. But don't worry, I'm not planning on going fucking anywhere, because this is this is just what I live for this in a minute, honestly. It was empty without it, so yeah. Love you all. Leave some love in the comments if you feel like it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give it a good old spank on the buttocks. And don't forget to look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.